David Headley is the first American to be linked to the Pakistan-based terror group lashkar e taiba or the LET. Headley, a Muslim from Chicago, pled guilty to playing a part in the 2008 Mumbai terror attacks, as well as the plotting to attack a Danish newspaper over controversial cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad. Defense attorney Robert Seaver. Mr. Headley pled guilty today to a number of serious criminal offenses. His conduct contributed to the harm of many people. His plea of guilty to all 12 counts. Recently, concern about homegrown terrorism has been on the rise in the United States. But some members of Congress, as well as terrorism experts, say the U.S. is too focused on Al Qaeda to the exclusion of LET. In the wake of the Mumbai attack. Investigators uncovered in controller records and email accounts a list of 320 locations worldwide deemed by the LET as possible targets for attack. Only 20 of the targets were located within India. The LET has been attacking U.S. forces in Afghanistan almost from day one. LET's capabilities exceed those of Al Qaeda, says Marvin Weinbaum. At the Middle East Institute, it exceeds Al Qaeda in its capacity for recruitment and fundraising across the Islamic world. Unlike Al Qaeda, LET has strong societal roots and enjoys the protection of the institutions of a state. LET was banned by Pakistan in 2002, but experts say it is still active and has folded itself into a Pakistani charitable group known as Jamaat ud Dawa, led by Hafiz Saeed. Lisa Curtis at the Heritage Foundation says Pakistan must dismantle LET. The U.S. needs to closely monitor Pakistani actions to dismantle the LET. Merely banning the organization has done little to degrade its capabilities. India blamed the 2008 Mumbai attacks on LET, saying it has evidence that Pakistani intelligence was also involved. Pakistan has put some LET members on trial, but denies that intelligence was involved. LET's founder Hafiz Saeed was also arrested, but later released by a Pakistani court for lack of evidence. In New Delhi last week, U.S. Assistant Secretary of State Robert Blake held talks with Indian officials to allay fears that the U.S. is ignoring dangers posed by LET. The Headley case, in our view, illustrates the. Increasing、uh, global scope and ambition of LET, and therefore the need for all of our countries to take the LET threat seriously. Ashley Tellis of the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace hopes President Obama will convince Pakistan to be tougher on Lashkar. It is to President Obama's credit that he has made it an important objective that Pakistan target LET. If a new U.S.-Pakistan strategic relationship is to be sustained, the most immediate danger, experts say, is that another Lashkar attack on India could trigger a war between India and Pakistan, and that they say would seriously disrupt U.S. efforts to get Pakistan to contain Islamic militants on its border with Afghanistan. Ravi Khanna, VOA News, Washington.